In this video, I'll explain how to use color overrides and directional lighting with Buto. So color overrides allow you to use color influence setting to adjust the default setting for lit, shadowed, and emission color for the fog. You can see here when I enable it all the way, the fog becomes completely white. When I disable it, it uses the, the scene color for the shadows and the light color for the, for the highlights. When it's enabled, you can make these colors whatever you want. For example, you could set the, let me turn off gizmos, you can set the lit color to red and the shadowed color to blue. You can also set the emission color so that the fog glows or gets pretty dark. You can control the extent to which this affects the color of the fog. For directional lighting, this is a control that depends on the direction of the main directional light relative to the view direction. So the directional forward tints the fog when looking towards the main light. The directional back tints the fog when looking away from the main light. And the directional ratio sets the fall off between these two terms. So let's find our main directional light. All right, it's over here. So the directional forward right now is set to white. So if we're looking directly at the sun, it'll tint the fog a white color. If we set it to red, you can see that it tints the fog a red color. Now if we go over here and we look away from the sun, the fog is still our um, gray color, our gray color and our world, world color. Now if we want to change the backlighting, you can change this color and set that to blue. This is the easiest scene when you use the color influence setting as well. So we set everything to white. Now when we're looking away from the sun, the fog is tinted blue. And when we're looking towards the sun, the fog is tinted red. The directional ratio controls sort of how these two interact with each other. You can see here when we're looking directly perpendicular to the sun, it's red on the left side towards the sun, blue on the right side away from the sun. So if the directional ratio is lower, it kind of squeezes the dark side, the back side. And then if it's higher, it squeezes the light side. If you set it pretty high, you can see that sort of like a ring around where the sun's located. All right, so that's the color overrides and directional lighting.